remember we were talking about the machine learning, was when it said, what, are the, what is the most important single, it's not necessarily a cause, but association with cardiovascular disease? What's the most potent finding they came across? It was a thing called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is, used to be called chronic bronchitis in the old days, and sometimes it's called other things. But basically it means that your lungs are damaged, used often by smoking, but coal miners, this can happen to you, people working in highly polluted environments. And you think, well, how can lung damage increase your risk of cardiovascular disease? Well, the answer is, as we've discussed, if you smoke, if you take in toxic substances through your lungs, they escape into your bloodstream. And once they're in your bloodstream, they can cause all this downstream damage. So it's precisely the same thing going on again. And this, this is, mm. this, well, to an extent, this is the intellectual sort of almost satisfaction of saying, ah, oh, that fits, that fits, that fits, this fits, that fits. Oh, okay, find me things that don't fit. Well, I have looked, but, but at the moment, uh, it does seem that they all, that they all fit, uh, even as one part of it, yeah. And I've, I have looked as well because, uh, well, not the only reason. The fundamental art of problem solving is to look to disprove your hypothesis, not prove it. Any moron can go and prove it and find some associations and even pretty good looking evidence. The real problem solver seeks to disprove. And at the end of the process, when you cannot disprove any element, largely, uh, you've arrived. It's the opposite of what all these academics do. It's astonishing. But the COPD as well, COPD is almost nowadays, whatever about coal miners, it's almost a diagnosis for insulin resistance. It's so intimately bound to insulin resistance state. And another one occurred to me is uh, the focal nature of atherosclerosis, very simple one. I used to say, well, okay, you got high cholesterol here and you got high cholesterol here. You have no plaque here. It's shiny, beautiful artery. You got a massive plaque here. It's going to kill you. And the same will apply to a low cholesterol person. So the focal nature alone also ties in beautifully to the jigsaw. And if you think of all the cholesterol nonsense we were talking earlier, well, it wasn't our nonsense, it's their nonsense, but still. You take all the examples and anomalies. The catavans, lowest heart disease on the planet, even up to aged levels, they have almost no calcification when they study them. Incredibly low heart disease. The Americans, kind of the worst on the planet. The catavans have the same kind of particle number of LDL, the super measure of LDL. And yet they have no heart disease and these guys have it. You got the old guy you were referencing who had a 17 millimole or something like seven or 800 milligram cholesterol and he had clean arteries in his late 60s and they've been looking at him for 20 years. And then you got the young guy with the sickle cell, as you described, that damages and strains the arteries, low cholesterol, but getting limbs amputated from atherosclerosis. All explainable with the proper process you described. All of these. Sickle cell disease, which is where your blood vessels are sickle shaped and they're sharp and pointy at one end, be super simplistic. And, and you can find examples of this particular case history, a 14 year old boy, I think it might be 12, I think he was 14, who came in with gangrene of his left foot and because the circulation to his foot was so severely compromised because he had severe atherosclerosis in the arteries in his leg, also his other leg, and every other major artery in his body. His brother had died age five of a stroke, he had sickle cell disease. And you say, well, how can sickle cell disease be causing these problems? Well, the answer is, and in fact, the, the authors of the paper wrote it themselves. They said, you know, severe biomechanical damage to the lining of the arteries is what is causing the problem. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I entirely agree with you. Why don't you take that one step further and say, well, therefore, that is what's causing the problem for everybody. 